welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are good i hope you guys are feeling great please make sure to like and subscribe you can do it now you know just click it um so basically today we're just gonna get into it we're going to have a natural hair q a because you guys always ask me a lot of questions about natural hair so i just wanna answer all your questions like immediately so that it's like so that you guys know and then you guys can just watch this video if you have any questions for me so let's get into it okay which dye did you use did you bleach it you guys always ask me which dye i used guys i do not know i have no idea i went to the hair salon the hair salon is a lady i know the, the hair salon i went to is a lady that knows me from when I was like young she knows my mother so I just went there and I said I showed her a picture I'll put the picture here that I saw but I showed her this picture and then she was just like okay come and I sat down and she did it guys so I don't know I just said I wanted copper brown okay so next question um, do you know how to do you know how to transition your hair from straight to from straight hair to an afro that's what I did I didn't cut my hair I just transitioned because I had like straightened my hair used lots of chemicals to like straighten it at one point and then I just transitioned but I just started using um, natural hair products I didn't I didn't really yeah I didn't go through a whole process of a big chop or anything like that all right next question what do you use on a daily basis honestly like because naturally is so much work I don't usually do my hair like every day oh what do I use on a daily basis I just I don't use something like every day I'll only like put product on my hair every third day if I feel like I need to and usually I'll just um, like massage something in my head Sorry. usually I'll just so yeah usually I'll just like massage some oils into my head or I will um, just like put moisturizer on my hair just so that it doesn't like become dry uh, and then yeah so uh yeah how did you make it grow long you guys it took years for my to grow long i won't lie and i feel like it just stayed a length and i like i got so many of those questions like i feel like my hair is stagnant i feel like my hair is stagnant i feel the same guys i feel like my hair has stayed the same length even though like the growth from the dye shows i don't see it in the length like of my hair and how long i would want it to be so yeah i i feel the same i don't know i just plait my hair i braid it a lot so that it can grow that helps with growth i massage oils into my head i massage yeah you are i massage oils into my head oh yeah that's basically what i do to oh to keep it growing or oh, what is what I'm supposed what I know I'm supposed to do to keep it going. do you add do you air dry your hair I, I think I do like when I wash it I just use a towel and then yeah I do air dry my hair I just let it dry see what happens and yeah what can I use to stop it from breaking and being brittle Jamaican the oil is the answer if you want your hair to be thick guys black Jamaican castor oil it's it does wonders it made my hair so much stronger and you just like massage it into your scalp yeah this is the the, the color in between the okay I'll put a picture here of my hair because it's in braids now but the color that I use that I have on my hair is not my that color is not my actual hair color my actual hair color is like black brown but yeah mm. hair care products 
suggestions to keep it soft and manageable you know what i used to do guys when i first started when i first went natural i used to like i went to the the shop and i bought oils like lots of oils i bought black jamaican castor oil i bought glycerin i bought what else i just bought like oils that i looked up on the internet that said it's gonna like will help with natural hair and then that's what i got and then i mixed them together and then i made it one one oil and then i just that's what i use to massage into my scalp that's what i use so i feel like that's a great way to start because yeah that's that's what worked for me so um, 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 um. What do you use after unflatting? What do I use after unflatting? Guys, I'm burning. What do I use? I don't know. I feel like... I just wash my hair. Like, I'll, I'll unflat it and then I'll put shampoo on it and leave it on for a bit. Just so it can soak and then I'll wash it off and scrub my scalp. You know, that's what I do. Whoa. Um, do you apply a leave-in conditioner on your scalp? Let me give you guys a tip now that I read about natural natural hair that saved my life. Oils go on your scalp and moisturizer goes on your hair. Because I always used to put oils on my hair and then my hair is like oily. Then I sleep and then my pillow is full of oils. Like that is the worst. I There was one time guys, I sat on my friend's lap in high school. And then uh, I sat on her, her school dress and I, I put my hair down. And then I came up her dress was full of my, my hair oil. Like it was so bad. So just, and that was the, the mistake that I made because I didn't know. So I just put, um, so the, the best thing to do is to put oil on your scalp and moisturize on your hair because your hair needs the moisture. Your scalp doesn't need the moisture. It does need moisture, but that's where the oils come in, you know? Um, the questions you guys are asking are kind of the same. Can I just give you guys some other, another tip of advice? The best thing you can do is do protective hairstyles because once you do protective hairstyles, mm -hmm. like it, that makes your hair grow. Like plaiting your hair, um, just putting it in protective hairstyles. Those, what that is the best thing that you can do, guys. It's gonna help it grow. Um, also, guys, okay, here's a quick don't for natural hair. Please don't comb your hair like this. Or like like this like just you no know, you're gonna get like so much breakage it's just it's not gonna it's not it's not doing good for you it might be manageable for you but it's not gonna do good for you when you when you comb when you comb out your ear take a piece of it right and then you will comb it from the bottom up because that's gonna keep you just love your hair guys like we yo I, I cringe when I see people comb the hair like that like oh the breakage but yeah that's a don't for some people it might work guys for me for me personally i cannot deal i, I can't deal <laughs> um what's the best way to regrow edges guys if you guys know i'm a person who pulls out my edges all the time when i'm stressed so i always have to keep it growing so i just put oils on my hairline i just massage oils there I sleep like that and I just like rub it in like just don't judge my edges but yeah how do you blow dry your hair I don't blow, my, blow dry Ugh. I don't blow dry my own hair my mother and my sister do it for me because my hair is too much and I cannot handle it on my own but they just like so when I blow when they when they blow dry it for me they take a part and then they blow dry it like this stretch it and then you blow dry it that's what I do. Or I'll put in rollers, then I sit under that thing that helps it get dry. Um, and then the best way to stretch your hair, guys, the best way to stretch your hair is to 
plait it like your own hair but you need to plait it tight from the roots all the way down so you plait it tight 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 that's gonna stretch your hair even twisting it it will stretch your hair you don't have to blow it out um, there's many other methods that you can do to stretch your hair but those are the ones that are most effective for me and that's the ones that I've seen results so that's what I'm giving y'all today uh, yo. yeah guys hairline and edges just like I said just keep massa like massage oils into it you can use Jamaican castor oil native child has the that that one for me even girl boss girl boss has a growth butter that has been working for my hairline guys because times are tough but that has been helping me i'm gonna show you all the picture of it when i get home i promise um which product should i buy to keep my hair strong uh, guys one thing about shrinkage no it's gonna happen whether you like it or not but shrinkage is a sign of healthy hair that is what i know and that is what i learned because the more shrinkage you have like the more healthier your hair is and yeah guys just embrace your shrinkage don't don't take it for granted but if you do not like shrinkage i'm going to burn it today if you don't like shrinkage what I suggest is that you stretch it the night before so if you want a big afro the next day when you wake up you plait it tight I have a hair tutorial on my Instagram I have a hair tutorial here on my YouTube on how I stretch my hair on how I do my afros and my high puffs I will link it down here if you guys don't haven't seen it but just watch it that is what I do to stretch my hair and yeah. also wigs guys like when when i plait my hair underneath my wigs it helps with growing my hair and wigs are a high key a protector style because underneath your hair is being protected growing splat you know so that's just the the best for me another protector style okay so you okay so wigs okay someone said name uh, please name some protective hair style so wigs braids um what else yeah just like plaiting your hair you guys i'm trying to think just plaiting your hair just plaiting it i think that's the best protective hairstyle for me that i can think of at the moment when did you start your natural hair journey guys i started my natural hair journey a few years ago i started it when i was in matric end of matric and here I am today yeah so I don't know how long have I been out of school grade 12, grade 12 first year second year third year four years natural four years natural now um, I have type 4c and I'd like to know how I can regrow my hairline I did mention it um, I will share guys I will share the products that I have that I use for my hair um, yeah and i have tutorials on my page guys um how to make it curly how to make it straight how to stretch it how to make afros how to make puffs i just don't have a tutorial on, on edges that i do not have um yeah guys you got your questions are, uh, are, are pretty much the same now that i'm like looking at it please ignore my nail so sad Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For strength, guys, please just use Jamaican castor oil and thank me later. Does rice water actually work? Listen, rice water, I don't really know if it works. I tried it like once and it smelled terrible. That's the one thing about rice water. It smells, it smells, it smells. I would suggest that you try use it if you're gonna be home, if you're not gonna go out because it smells, it really smells. It's, it stinks so I think I think that's what made me like reluctant to try rice water because I'm not ready to walk out with a smelly head I'm really not so yeah I don't know you guys can try it and see but I really haven't tried it um hair masks i did a, uh, a video as well it's one of my first videos on a hair mask that you could use and it's very affordable 
guys you don't have to uh, name it, you don't have to go out and buy expensive products to be um to have natural hair it doesn't have to be expensive there's so many um like um home things that you can use like i use mayonnaise mayonnaise helps my hair shine it makes it stronger as well so if you do like hair masks every now and then like people who are proper natural hair gurus will do it like every week every two weeks i cannot do that because i do not have time i do it like maybe once a month once every two months yeah um here yeah, guys how do you go about wash day the way i go about wash day is i sit and i cry and i think about how much hair i have to deal with and then i put conditioner on it as a step one and i mean shampoo on it and then i just like leave it in i don't like put water on it nothing just shampoo like that i just put it on and then i let it soak and i walk around and then when i have the strength then i'll go and i'll wash it out in the shower and i'll scrub my scalp like that and then i'll do it again i'll wash it again and then i'll put on conditioner when i get out or whatever moisturizer i want to use because if i don't if i just let it air dry and this is what happens with type 4 ca if you just let it air dry it just like without putting any product on it it just becomes dry like dry 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 um some people will tell you water is actually very good for 4 ca i've seen girls that use water that it's worked for it has never worked for me i could never but yeah that's what i do and then last question um how did my hair react after dyeing my hair my hair reacted it didn't react the way i expected it to but but my ends were dry and when i blow blow out my hair my ends just become dry 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 that's the only problem that i'm having after dying after dying my hair so yeah guys people i was making a noise but i'm not even at home guys i'm at a spa but love you guys i hope this helped you and i hope you guys have a lovely day please like please subscribe and follow me on my socials which are here Love you guys.